Hello everyone. I hope you are all doing well. I'm Manhar and welcome back to MSFT webcast. In this video, we are going to learn the steps on how to remotely manage a workgroup Hyper-V server. Running a Hyper-V server in a corporate Active Directory environment is standard practice. However, if your Windows network is not part of a domain, using Hyper-V in a workgroup requires some adjustments between the host and client. In this video, we will go over the steps to set up a Hyper-V Server 2025 host in a workgroup environment and remotely manage it using Hyper-V Manager from a Windows 11 PC. The video is divided into three sections. Task to be performed on the Hyper-V host, the Windows 11 PC and some troubleshooting steps. For this demo, we will be using my home lab which is configured on Windows Server 2025 Hyper-V. We have installed and configured Windows Server 2025 core in a Hyper-V virtual machine and in the previous video, we installed the Hyper-V server role on top of the Windows Server 2025 core VM. Links to both videos are provided in the description. We have a Windows 11 Enterprise Workgroup client on the same network as the Hyper-V host. Let's start with the Windows Server 2025 core VM. The hostname of this server is ws2k25-core01 and it is part of a workgroup. By default, remote management is enabled on a Windows Server 2025 core machine. If it's not, you can easily enable it using the sconfig utility. As we can see, remote management is enabled on our Hyper-V host. From the main menu, type 4 and press enter to enter the configure remote management settings page. To enable server response to ping request, type 3 and press enter. Press enter to return to the main menu. From the main menu, type 8 and press enter to enter the network settings page. Type 3 and press enter. We have assigned the static IP address 172.18.72.21 to this server. Let's move on to our Windows 11 VM. Right click on the start menu and select Windows PowerShell admin to launch PowerShell with administrative privileges. In PowerShell, type the command ping 172.18.72.21 and press enter to check network connectivity with the Hyper-V host. From the output, we can confirm that both VMs can communicate with each other. Let's install Hyper-V Manager on this Windows 11 client machine. Type fvs.cpl and press enter. Click on Turn Windows Features on or off. Expand Hyper-V, select Hyper-V Management Tools and click OK. Please wait a few moments. Once installed, click on Close. Close Programs and Features window. You should now be able to launch Hyper-V Manager from the Start menu. Click on Start menu and search for Hyper-V. Open Hyper-V Manager. Right click on Hyper-V Manager and select Connect to Server. Enter Hyper-V Server's IP address and click OK. Wait for the error message to appear. The error message says the computer 172.18.72.21 could not be resolved. We cannot use the IP address. We need to enter the hostname or AppQDN when connecting to the remote Hyper-V server. Click on Close. Let's add a static entry in the host file. Go back to PowerShell. Type Notepad, C Windows System32 Drivers etc host and press Enter to open the host file in Notepad. Add your Hyper-V server's IP address and host name to the host file similar to this example. Save the file, exit Notepad and return to the PowerShell prompt. Now you should be able to connect to the Hyper-V host using the, its host name ws2k25 core 01 instead of the IP address. Type ping ws2k25 core 01 and press enter. Let's try again to connect to a Hyper-V host using Hyper-V Manager. Go back to Hyper-V Manager. Right click on Hyper-V Manager and select Connect to Server. And ws2k25 core 01 and click OK. Wait for the error message to appear. This time the error is related to WinRM. To resolve this, we need to start the WinRM service and configure the trusted host list. Click on close and go back to PowerShell. Type the command WinRM quick config and press enter. 
This will enable the WinRM service and configure the necessary settings for remote management. Type Y and press Enter to apply the required changes. Now we are encountering another error because our firewall profile is set to public. To resolve this, we need to ensure that the firewall profile is set to private so that Windows firewall allows the traffic. Keep in mind that this won't work over a public firewall profile. Type the command get net connection profile and press enter. Currently, the firewall profile is set to public. Let's change the firewall profile to private. Type the command get net connection profile, pipe set net connection profile, hyphen network category private and press enter. Run the previous command again to check the current firewall profile. Now it is set to private. Next, we need to add the Hyper-V server host to the trusted host list on the Windows 11 PC. Type the command set hyphen item wsman colon slash local host slash client slash trusted host hyphen value ws2k25 hyphen core 01. Press enter to run the command. Type Y and press enter. Type the command restart hyphen service winrm and press enter to restart the winrm service. Now go back to Hyper-V Manager. Right click on Hyper-V Manager and select Connect to Server. Type the name of our Hyper-V Server host and click OK to receive another error message related to authorization. To get around the authorization error, we need to manually add the Hyper-V Server's credentials into memory using CMD key command. Click on Close and go back to PowerShell. Type the command CMD key slash add colon ws2k25 hyphen core 01 slash user colon administrator slash pass and press enter. Tap the administrator's password and press enter. Run the cmd key again with the slash list parameter and you should see that the cache credential has been created. Again, go back to Hyper-V Manager. Right click on Hyper-V Manager and select connect to server. Tap the name of a Hyper-V host and click OK. Finally, we have successfully connected to a Hyper-V host remotely using Hyper-V Manager. As long as the credentials remain in memory, you can remotely manage the Hyper-V host from this Windows 11 machine. Another possible workaround is to start Hyper-V Manager using Run As with the correct local account. Go back to Hyper-V Host. Press Enter to cancel it. Type 15 and press Enter to exit the sconfig utility and return to PowerShell. For testing purposes, we are going to create a new virtual machine using the new hyphen VM cmdelete. After creating the VM, we will check the same on the Windows 11 Hyper-V Manager. Type the command new hyphen VM hyphen name testvm01 hyphen memory startup bytes 2GB hyphen new VHD path cvhds testvm01.vhdx hyphen new VHD size bytes 40GB and press enter to create a new VM called testvm01. The VM is created successfully. Let's verify this using get hyphen VM command. Let's go back to Windows 11 VM. Under Actions menu, click on Refresh. We can see testvm01 that we created on the Hyper-V host. Right click on VM and select Settings. Click on Network Adapter. From the drop down menu, select External Virtual Switch. Click Apply to save the changes. Then click OK to close the VM properties window. Now you can manage your Hyper-V host remotely using Hyper-V Manager from this Windows 11 machine just as you would when managing the Hyper-V host locally. That's all for this video on how to remotely manage a workgroup Hyper-V server from Windows 11 machine. I hope you found this video helpful and informative. If you have any questions or comments, feel free to leave them below. Don't forget to like and subscribe for more videos on Microsoft Hyper-V and other Microsoft related topics. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Have a great day.